Hi everybody, it's Beth here again. Welcome back to another art activity. Today we're gonna to have a go at doing this rather cute um, raccoon. We're gonna keep it quite simple, so all you need is pencil, a rubber, and a black pen, whether it's a biro, a felt tip, whatever you have, it doesn't matter. So, if you've got everything ready, we will make a start. So, we're gonna start, I think, by doing his nose. When we are sketching this out, um, just remember to do little lines just nice and lightly until you're happy with your drawing and then you can work over it and make it darker. So his nose is it's almost like a sort of, it's quite rectangular in shape, um, slightly curved, the corners are curved. So a nice sort of rectangular nose, just curve off those corners. Um, and I'm going to just pop in these little nostrils. So just two little, little, um, almost like a backwards C and then another little C just at the bottom. So we've got his little nose popped in. Um, and then underneath we'll give him a little mouth. So just a little line that comes down the middle and then it's going to curve round. And we're just, it's quite little, so just take it just to the sort of level, just past the edge of his nose. So like that, okay. Um, and now what I'm gonna do, I think we're gonna just map in the basic outline of his face. So the shape of his face is a bit like a rugby ball. Um, so I'm gonna track just above the top of his nose. I'm gonna track just along quite a way out. Um, and I'm gonna just pop a little dot there. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, try and keep it so that it's roughly matches and then um, I'm going to do under the um, mouth I'm going to just put an, a little line there and then another little line here so what I'm going to do I'm going to curve this up like this and we're going to just do this quite lightly because we might need to tweak it so I'm going to just do it quite lightly to start with and then back up the other side to meet so at the moment we've got this sort of like hammock shape and then from here, we're gonna start changing direction a little bit. So I've turned the corner, and then we're gonna now take it up on both sides, take it up quite high, up and over. Now I'm just doing little lines at the moment because I'm gonna step back and have a little look and see if I'm happy with it. Okay, so down like that. Curve that round. Okay. So I might just take that up a little bit higher. So I'm going to leave that quite light to start with. We'll put our features in and then we'll see if we need to tweak it a little bit. I'm just going to get my rubber. So, so I've got my rubber ready in case we need it in a minute. So just curve off that edge a little bit. Okay. So let's get our um, sort of eyes and, and mouth all mapped in and then we'll have a look at the shape of the face again. But that just helps give us a little guide to start with. So what I'm gonna do now is the eyes, we're gonna pop, they're quite close together. Um, so we're gonna just do two quite round eyes, quite big, not quite as big as the nose. So two very round eyes. I'm tra tracking up from the nose and then we're coming out just a little bit and then we'll try and keep them level if we can. So two quite big circles and then I'm going to just pop a little line that comes around the corner, around that curve of the eye. It comes down and then out quite wide and then it's going to join up with this line that we did earlier, like this, so on both sides. So it curves round the edge of the eye, comes out, round, and then joins up. Okay, so we've got our middle section. All right, so once we've got that in place, I think what we'll do next is, let's just continue this now. So we're putting his markings in, we're just some guidelines of where all his markings, his lovely stripes are gonna go. 
So this line now is going to continue over the top of the eye and it's going to come right out nearly to the edge of his face but not quite. And then it's going to come back round and join up with his chin here. We'll do the same on the other side. So over the top of the eye and then out towards the edge of his face and then curve it round and then bring it down and then there we go, joins up with his chin. So you can see where we're getting our markings. This area is going to be really dark and then we're going to have some white stripes just above his eyes. So I think what we'll do next, we'll do the white stripes. So above this line here, we'll put another line, quite a thick line. So it's going across the top now. Again, we're following this curve round a little bit. And then I'm going to bring it down the middle of his nose, but not all the way. I'm going to stop it above his nose there. We're going to do the same on the other side. So up, over, and then down. Okay. So this bit is going to be white here, and then this top bit is going to be darker. I'm going to make that little bit a bit higher. Okay, so we're getting our basic shape now in. Um, the next little thing that we need to do is his ears. Um, so hopefully you can see this. I might go off the top of the page a little bit, um, but hopefully you can see it. So basically we're going to curve up. I think we're going off the top of the page, aren't we? A little bit. And let me just... Okay, so we've just adjusted the camera, so hopefully you can see the ears now. So you're going to um, just, I'm just going to pop the ears in. So up and over on one side. I'm going to add another line like that. So you've got two lines there. And then the same on the other side. So up and over, back down. Kind of keep them roughly the same size. And then I'm going to add another, a little line inside the ear, like that, on that side. All right, the last little thing, I think he's looking okay. So the last little thing is his body. So just roughly what I'm doing is in the middle of this section here, I'm just going to bring a line that just comes out on both sides. So this is his little body. Curve that round a little bit. Okay. Right, so now we've got all our line work in, all our basic shapes, we're going to just start shading. So if you've got um, a 2B pencil, that's great because we can get sort of slightly lighter and darker tones. Um, but if you've got a normal pencil, that's fine. We just need to press harder or, or more lightly. The harder we press, the darker we get. So let's start with the eyes. It's always nice to start with the eyes. Um, I'm going to do a big circle in the middle. So I put my um, pencil on the top line here and I'm going to bring it down in a curve and I'm not quite touching the bottom. It's curving round and then it's going back up to the top. So nice big eye there. Do the same on the other side. So nice big eye almost down to the bottom, back up and then it touches the top. Let's just pop out a little sort of highlight in. So we'll draw that in and then that helps us to remember not to colour it in. So it's the same place on each eye. And then I'm pressing really hard because I want my eyes to be really, really dark. And we're going to colour that middle section in. So I'm obviously going quite quickly. You take the time, do this at your own pace. So just stop and start the video at your own pace, everybody. So let's just get that eye shaded in nice and dark, as dark as we can go. Want it nice and black. So we've got that middle section done. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to shade this bit in, but just lightly. So barely pressing my pencil and I'm making that like a nice light grey. Okay. And then I'm going to go round the edge and really press hard, make that 
outline of the outside circle really dark and we can do this with our pen at the end as well so don't worry too much if, if you're not getting it too dark and then I'm just going to do another little circle around that so another one I'm just going to shade that in a nice light grey again and same on this side So all the way round, and then just shade that in a nice light grey. Um, with his nose, obviously the nostrils need to be really dark as well. So let's get those in. Just going to colour that those C's in, and I'm going to put a nice dark bit of shading at the bottom of his nose, just along the edge, and up in between the nostrils a little bit, and tiny bit at the top as well just around the edge and then I'm going to just get my finger and smudge it so try and smudge that pencil a little bit it's not smudging very well and you can always just shade it in like a light grey so we've got that dark bit at the bottom and then a little light grey top section and then the mouth, we're just going to go over and just darken it down a bit more and just shade in between that section there, a nice light colour. Okay, um, so once we've done that, let's start putting our black and white sections on. So I'm going to start, the, the middle bit obviously is very, very uh, light. We're going to leave that white for now and we're going to start now just shading in our dark sections so I'm doing quite sort of scribbly lines I'm trying to imagine the direction of the fur though so I'm not going all, in all different directions sort of shading it down trying to follow the shape a little bit and we're just going to go around that mouth and then under the chin a little bit so under that chin So I'm not completely colouring it in, just like little lines. And round his eye. And down the other side. So again, take the time when you're doing this. So we've got that middle section in now and then the top section is also dark so we're going to take it up a little section we did it in the middle of his nose we're going to start there and we're going to work up and going up all the way to the top of his head I'm going outside my outline a little bit so we're just making that outline just a little bit fluffy And then we're going to shade in the top section, so under his ear, again I'm doing mine very quickly for you, but you just take your time, okay, you might need to give your hands a little rest. and over and take it out to the edge okay so we're starting to see all that those markings appearing now so the next little thing let's work on our ears the inside of his ear is going to be darker so it, I'm still I'm going to shade like a section that's roughly the same shape of his actual ear but inside and then I'm leaving this edge lighter do the same on the other side so just a little section inside the ear and 
then with my smudging finger, I'm just gonna give it a little smudge just so there's a little tint of color on that ear. There we go. And we can put a little bit of shading just at the base, just Okay, um, and then the last little bit is his body. So we want the edges, the sides, darker, just to help give him form. So we're gonna make these edges darker and also, if we can, a little bit under his chin. And that just makes his face stick out a little bit. So a little bit under his chin and then back down the other side of his body. On the other side. And then I'm gonna just go press quite lightly now because I want this bit a bit lighter on the middle bit. And I'm also gonna get my finger and just give it a little rub, just blend it in just a little bit. Okay, and then just to give this white bit, just take that brightness off it a little bit. Just smudge it a bit. Just knock it back just a little bit. So, what we've got, the last little thing actually, before we add our pen, is gonna give him some little whiskers. So just some little flicky lines out from either side of his nose. Crisscrossing a little bit, maybe some that are slightly shorter than others and that's the pencil so you could leave it there if you wanted to or we can get a biro or a black pen and I've got a selection but I'm just using a normal biro and now I'm just using my biro to really make those dark bits even darker so it makes by making the dark bits darker, the lighter bits pop out a bit more. So you can already see. So just sort of building up tones really. So you've got your lovely grey tones underneath and then these nice darker tones and it just helps make it pop out a little bit more. So I'm just working over the dark bits just with my pen, not colouring it in. It's just a little sort of shading so any pen, you can work with any pen to do this. So you can see, compare the two sides, a bit with the pen is just, just a bit darker, it just helps lift it a bit. Just bringing out those dark and light sections. Um, and then I'm going to just outline my nose and make those nostrils really dark. So a little broken line around my nose, on my mouth as well. And then I'm going to just work over. The top bit of his head. quite scribbly. It's up to you how neat you want to go. I quite like scribbly lines. Got some movements. Keeping it quite loose inside the ears as well. And then I'm just maybe with a bit of a broken line, I'm just sort of outlining the ears a little bit. bring them out. Maybe this little section of his face a bit more as well. Under his chin, I'm just definitely outlining that because that help, really helps his chin pop out a bit. And then his eyes, I'm going to use a felt tip for his eyes because I want the black to be really, really dark here. So I'm just getting a black felt tip and I'm working over the top 
So you can see that's making those eyes really pop out. So don't go over your little white highlight if you can help it. If you've forgotten to do your white highlight, you can always put a little blob of white paint on, just cheat a little bit. Okay, and then I might just do a little fine sort of broken line around the eye as well. That just helps it stand out a little bit more. Okay, let's work over those nostrils a bit too. So I think, let's have a little step back, have a little look at it, but I think we're probably, yeah, so there we go. You've got your lovely pencil and pen raccoon. I think he's very cute. I hope you enjoyed that drawing today. Keep watching the channel because we've got lots more coming up and we will see you again soon. Bye for now.